Say hello to the new Toyota Land Cruiser. After a three-year hiatus, the legend returns to the States. The Land Cruiser dons the Beyond Zero badge as it's part of Toyota's move toward a carbon-neutral future. So what does that mean? Well, that means this SUV comes exclusively with an iForce Max engine, which is a turbocharged 2.4-liter four-cylinder engine paired to a 48-horsepower electric motor, which altogether puts out a combined 326 horsepower and 465 pound-feet of torque linked to an 8-speed automatic transmission. Does make more torque than the outgoing 200 series, and it can tow up to 6,000 pounds. We don't know fuel economy numbers just yet, but we do know this seats up to five passengers, rides on Toyota's TGNA F body on frame truck platform, and all models have full time four wheel drive with a standard center locking differential and electronically controlled two speed transfer case with high low range. There's also a standard electronic locking rear differential that can split power 50 50 between the rear wheels and an electronic limited slip differential. And yes, for those that are wondering, this is 1.2 inches shorter and 4.4 inches more narrow than the outgoing 200 series, just to make it a bit more nimble on the trails. And Toyota wanted to get back to their roots and continue the legacy of the Land Cruiser being a durable off-road icon. Its boxy shape and available two-tone paint is a nod to past generations, and the A-pillars have been pushed back not only to complement the look, but also provide better outward visibility. Overall, the Land Cruiser has an approach angle of up to 31 degrees, a max departure up to 22 degrees, breakover angle reaches 25 degrees, and there's up to 8.7 inches of ground clearance. There's a new double wishbone front suspension with twin tube shocks paired to a multi-link rear suspension with coil springs, and higher trims will have an available front stabilizer bar disconnect that will increase flex with the press of a button. Moving inside, the Land Cruiser looks up to date and has a modern feel. Up front, there's also an available 12.3 inch infotainment screen using the latest Toyota Audio Multimedia System. And higher trims get the multi terrain monitor, which displays potential obstacles on the screen. Overall, the cabin has a fine build quality with nice materials throughout. In the rear, passengers get standard air vents and USB connectivity, and higher trims get HVAC controls. Out back, the Land Cruiser has a decent amount of cargo space. We don't have cargo numbers just yet, but there is an available power lift gate. Oh, and look, there's a button to open up the rear glass. We always like that. The Land Cruiser will come in three models, or grades, if you will. The 1958, Land Cruiser, and a first edition that's limited to just 5,000 units to North America. The 1958 grade will include 18-inch wheels with all-season tires, 17-inch disc brakes front and rear, Toyota Heritage grille, round LED headlamps, LED fog lights, digital gauge cluster, 8-inch infotainment screen with wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, 6-speaker audio system, cloth seating with manually adjustable heated front seats, and a heated steering wheel. The self-titled, quote, Land Cruiser model will include rectangular LED headlamps, rigid color-selectable LED fog lights, larger all-season tires, front stabilizer bar disconnect, power-operated liftgate, a bigger digital gauge cluster, 12.3-inch touchscreen, multi-terrain select and multi-terrain monitor, and Softex heated and ventilated power-adjustable seats. And the limited first edition model has the round headlights and adds a roof rack, roof rails, a front skid plate, mud flaps, and leather heated and ventilated seats. There's also an available premium package which adds a moonroof, 14 speaker JBL audio system, power heated and ventilated leather trim seats with lumbar support, and more. All models will have Toyota Safety Sense 3.0 standard, and that includes proactive driving assist, lane tracing assist, dynamic radar cruise control, lane departure warning with steering assist, and pre-collision with pedestrian detection. Toyota says this is going to start in the mid $50,000 range. Toyota believes that the pricing for the new Land Cruiser will make it more accessible for consumers so they can have an experience with their vehicle off the beaten path. This legend of an SUV will be built in Japan at Toyota's Tahara and Nino plants and will arrive in the States in the spring of 2024.